Hello, I'm Ricardo from the Visa Developer Team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a CSR or Certificate Signing Request file using Java Key Tool. The CSR file is required to obtain a certificate if you're using an API that uses two-way mutual SSL authentication. Note that a different CSR file is required for the certification and production environments. If an API requires certification prior to going live in the production environment, you'll be following this process twice. First, to obtain credentials for certification, then again to obtain credentials for production. Credentials for certification and production will be provided once a signed relevant contract is in place between you and Visa. So let's get started by going to search on your Windows computer, then typing in CMD. Open the application. Once it's ready, the first thing we need to do is open the location where we'll store our project and CSR files. We advise being as organized as possible with your project, so to that end, I created a folder here. As you can see, I have a project and folder each for sandbox, production, and certification, the three environments for our projects. Now, since this CSR is for production, I'm going to click on that folder. This is where I'll store my CSR file and key store file. Next, I click on the location, highlight, right click, and select copy. Now I go back to the command prompt and type in cd, the command we use to change to that directory. Now I'm going to right click and paste the location, then press enter to go to the location where the CSR will be stored. Great. The next thing we're going to do is create our CSR file. We have this command in the going live guide on Visa Developer, so you can always refer to that to get to it. First, we're going to paste this command. Now you'll need to enter each piece of information. So let's start from the beginning with store pass. I'm going to use Visa123 as our password. The key pass can be the same, so I'll use Visa123. Next is the domain name for the common name. This field must be a fully qualified domain name. This is the format the domain name should follow. As an example, I'll use services.visa.com. Note that you can't have wildcard characters for the host name, and also the host name should not start with www. Next is organizational unit name. This is the name of your division within your organization. An example would be debit card processing unit. Next, put in your organization name. I'll use Bank of USA. Then, the locality name. This should be a valid city name such as San Francisco. The state name is the name of the state or province where the server is located. Be sure to spell out the name completely, no abbreviations. For the country name, we use the two-letter ISO 3166-1 country code. Here, we'll say US. To get the CSR unique ID, go to the project dashboard, select the project name for which you need to generate the CSR, and click on settings on the top right corner. Then copy the CSR unique ID and go back to the Java key tool window and paste the CSR unique ID. Next should be the CSR unique ID appended with dash cert or dash prod to indicate the environment. In this case, it will be dash prod. Next, make sure you close the command with a quotation mark. Once you've closed the command, hit enter. This will generate your key store file. OK, great. Now you'll need to create a new CSR file using the keto command, which you can find on the going live guide. I'm going to copy it and go back to the Java key tool window and paste. Where it says store pass, put in the password we entered above, in this case, visa123. And put in the same password for key pass, visa123. Then enter. You can confirm that your CSR file was created by going back to your project folder and seeing the new CSR file. So let's check. And there it is. Next, we're going to upload the CSR file to our project. So go back to your project dashboard and click on Going Live. Scroll down to the production section and click on Start CSR Wizard. Then click on the plus sign to add the file. 
Now I'm going to go back to the folder with the new CSR file and drag it over to the dashboard. Once you see the file uploaded, click Next, put in your phone number, and then click Next again. Before you submit the CSR file, you'll have a chance to review all the information you've entered. Here you can see the common name, organization unit, locality, state, country, and UID. It's important to remember that once you hit Submit, you can't revert. Visa Developer will reject the file if there's an error, so make sure to review it carefully one final time before you submit. Just going to review and hit Submit. Once you hit Submit, you'll be taken back to the project dashboard where you can see that your CSR file has been submitted successfully. After that, Visa Developer will review it and send you an email when all has been approved, and you'll be good to go. I hope this has been helpful. If you do want additional guidance on creating a CSR file using Java Key Tool, you can visit our community page anytime to ask questions. You can also contact us directly at developer at visa.com. In the meantime, be sure to check out our other tutorials in our Visa Developer series. Thanks for watching.